Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to make this DIY Dollar Tree. It's super easy American flag wreath. And we're going to use this basket. If you guys have seen this basket from the Dollar Tree, it's flat, it's plastic, can't miss it. We're going to use scarves. Now this is a no-sew, no-glue project. So if you, you want to use scarves that you want to use again, that's fine, go right ahead. And we're going to use these star stickers. It's an option to add stars, or I could show you how to make one with paper and diamonds. I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. But I'm going to show you how I got started, and I'm going to show you the technique, how it starts in real time, and then I'm going to speed up the rest while I tell you more about whatever. <laughs> so like I said, this is a no, a no so It's not a no so It's a no-glue, no-cutting project. Um, what I've done is I've found sort of the top corner, uh, one-fourth of the basket. These baskets from the Dollar Tree, we've seen them lots. I've only seen them in red, believe it or not, but I know that they come in other colors. Actually, I think I have a black one. I don't know. I feel like I've only seen them in red, but it's okay because we're not going to see the plastic. Um, so it's it's okay if you find it in another color. I'm going to show you options of how to like um, cover even the edge if you want. But what we're going to do is we're going to start that first top left-hand corner. We're going to make that the where the stars the blue section of the flag and we're just going to sew this if you guys have ever worked with plastic canvas i don't know how old you all are <laughs> plastic canvas was sort of a big thing in the 80s and 70s um, and that's kind of the technique we're going to use here we're just using the one direction um, if you've also ever done counted cross stitch i was thinking that i wanted to do it in a cross stitch pattern but I just ended up using way too much of the scarf and it would have been a more expensive craft. As it is, it's about seven or eight dollars, um, depending if you have the material already. Um, but using these scarves, it'll, uh, you know, I needed, you need about seven or eight scarves. Um, so as you can see, what we're just doing is we're starting and we're just going on the diagonal. Bottom left, bottom right hand corner, square, excuse me. And then we go in one over and one up and we're going to feed it in and then we're going to come directly down right below it and then we're just going to repeat that pattern and i'm showing you a little bit here of how like you can fluff it around you can manipulate the colors so if you have like a section of the blue that's way too much red or if you have the section of the white that's got too much star showing you can manipulate it around and then around the corner I'm not going in that little section, I'm going over that little section. If you notice around the edge of this, there is like, um, I want to call it like a, a half square around the whole corner of this basket, but I'm going to go over that. And then we're just going to repeat it. So for the next row, you're just going to go up and you're going to continue back. Um, this, what they, uh, it's not typewriter method, but there is a, a thing where, there is a, the name of this method, I'm so sorry, where you go like to the left and then back over to the right and then back to the left. And that's when, when you're sewing like with counted cross stitch or with plastic canvas. That's how you do it. So we're just going to repeat that. And this is like super fast because as easy as this project is, it's a little bit of time consumption because there is, you know, you have to sit and you have to sew. And um, so I had to speed it up so you guys could see the whole process. So um, if you're, if you follow my channel um, and watch my shop with me videos i i had didn't know i thought i had bought blue two of the blue scarves originally um, and i only could find one red one um, so i knew i needed to go back and get another red one but not until i put it in here or i started the project did i realize i only had one blue scarf so you actually need two blue scarves two white scarves and three red ones that's what you need all together um, so when you go in to purchase this, um, that's what I'll put it in the description box of how many of each you'll need. And now we're just going to do the white stripe. So just like an American flag, the um, top section is, you know, just follow the flag pattern. So it's like red, it's white, and you know how that goes. <laughs> I actually sound like I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> You know, somebody made a mention to me one time about, you know, you shouldn't be teaching something until you figure it all out. But one of the things I thought you guys loved endearing about me was that I figured it out as I was going. I thought you guys liked that. Um, so you can see that even though I don't have enough blue right there, we're going to adjust that in a few minutes. Because the second blue scarf that I found was not the exact same blue scarf. But it did come out really cool. So lined up with the bottom of the blue square is a white stripe. That's what I was trying to say. Underneath the blue square is an entire red stripe. All right? That's how the flag goes. <laughs> 
So um, with this, I'm skipping every other row. I did half the white and then I skipped a row and went back in the other direction and skipped a row and went back in the other direction. And then I'm filling that in with red. Okay, so I'm doing the same thing with the red. This red scarf that I got from the Dollar Tree um, was in the Americana, American flag section. No, um, the American decor section. I apologize. And uh, it does have sort of like a bandana print on it. It doesn't really scream America, but I just wanted it to be red. If you can do this with solid colors, I was thinking you could cut up bandanas. You would just need a lot more of them. Um, this would be really cute. Um, I actually had started it with using this basket like you would use a wire wreath form to use to do mesh. Um, but I could not, I cannot find the blue mesh. So um, I also mentioned it in the shop with me that I thought I had a whole row of blue mesh at home. So I only bought reds and whites. And it turns out that I had about six feet of blue mesh at home. So I couldn't do it with mesh. But my original intention, I actually bought two of these baskets. My original intention was to do one in mesh and um, pulling it through the holes, like pulling the loops through the holes. And then one like the counted cross stitch or like the plastic canvas I'm so sorry so because this um, blue scarf is different I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do that same thing where I'm gonna do um, we're gonna call one fireworks and one anchors so I broke the blue section up into do a row of fireworks and a row of anchors and a row of fireworks and a row of anchors just so it didn't look that different so it blended together and I feel like it did blend together really nicely um, and once you're all done sewing, then you can go back and fluff open everything if you want to, if you like that look. I'm going to show you that in the end real quick. But um, you can see that it's just a repeating stitches. It's just repeating stitches. Once you figure out your layout, it, it is just repeating stitches. And it's amazing that this basket has exactly the right number of rows. You know, you need 13 stripes, so it does have the exact um, perfect amount. So that's kind of great. And now I'm filling in with the rest of the red. Um, again, I only bought one more red scarf, only because they only had one red scarf. And technically, you need two more. You need three altogether. But I'll show you how I got away with two of them, because the one that's missing row is actually on the underside of the basket. You can't even notice it unless you're like a foot and a half tall. I mean, while it's hanging on your door. You can't notice it unless you're like a little tiny person underneath it. Um, but even then, because I guess because the basket's red, it's not very noticeable. Let's just say that. But I am on the search to find one more. Um, I have no problem getting a different one either. I can blend it in as well. But I really did like the way this came out, and I thought it was super easy. Not only would it be great for the kids, it's a great uh, for individuals with um, hand-eye coordination issues, uh, individuals with dexterity issues, because the scarves are so thick and the holes are so big um for um people with arthritis I felt like this project did not bother my hands at all at all not even one stitch um so another tip was I worked around the corners there is a corner section and I kind of walked over the corner section kind of like we we did um on the edge with the hat covering the half square but really, it's about the technique, and you guys figure out the patterns that you want. Um, I just thought it looked so cute, and it looks so fluffy, doesn't it? I mean, it, you wouldn't believe it was a hard basket. So when I turned it over, I just tucked all of the scarf pieces under. None of them were so big that um, they were, like, falling out or anything, so that was good. But if you have that, just use safety pins and pin them to itself so you won't really ruin the scarves. You don't have to cut them, and again, you don't have to glue them. So now at this point, I'm just working it around. Um trying to make the scarves more even, get as much out of the length as I can by walking it around. And now I'm gonna be fluffing up the sections as well. Um, as you can see, you just spread the section, like the basically the big cluster of scarf right here, you can see, you just fluff it open. I'm actually doing it one-handed because I'm holding the camera real quick. Um, but you can see what I'm talking about. And then as far as the white stripes are concerned, if too much of the red, white, and blue star 
affects the aesthetic for you. You can go ahead and you can spin it around so that you can get all white. But I just loved it. So here's what it looks like without stars on it. And that's the way I'm actually leaving it in my house. You can see the little red plastic around the edge. You can add trim to it. You can get an extra scarf and go all around it. Um, you can do anything you want if you want to cover that. Or you could spray paint the basket first. That's totally entirely up to you. Um, but two of the options that I had for stars was um, I found these silver star stickers at the Dollar Tree. Not everybody was able to find them. They have a very metallic feel. <clears throat> so sorry. They have a very metallic feel. So now I'm just hand drawing. I just thought how cute and rustic like a really misshapen star would look, but I was wrong. So if you're going to do this, print a star out. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to take a, a white piece of cardstock and I'm going to make a um, diamond wrap. This is the gem stickers. I'm sorry. They come in like a row. And I was just going to make um, a star, a uh, glitter star out of it. I feel like with the scarves, I almost wanted the stars to seem like pieces of jewelry, which is why I went for like the diamond and the silver because I kind of feel like it has a sense of elegance. I don't know why. Isn't that weird? I don't know. I'm just weird like that. So um, I am making these just to show you. And I'm actually going to attach them um, with those little tiny clothespins um, just, just because uh, that's what I had sitting there. But you could use pin back so you can use glue if you want to make them more permanent. Um, but you see it looks there and it's so jaggedy looking. But it looks cute laying on the basket. It doesn't, you know, um, it doesn't really get the look that I actually wanted, but if I would have made a real star and perhaps put it on that silver card stock that they sell at the Dollar Tree, um, that's another option just to cut those silver stars out of the card stock. Um, but they have, they have other options at the Dollar Tree as well. This is just one I was going for, and I just took those clothespins and I just actually stuck the stickers to the clothespins because I knew I wasn't going to keep it permanent. If you guys are going to do it permanently, I'd get out your hot glue gun and maybe get some pin backs or um, glue these little clothespins on there. Um, but if you have any other options, you know, obviously, get me know. Share it with everybody. This is what the little, like, rhinestone one looks like. Yeah, it's not my favorite. But these stars are actually kind of cute, these um, little metallic stars. They don't show up very uh, vibrantly on there. Um, one of the other thought things I was thinking about was Dollar Tree has um, LED lights with stars on them. And you could actually poke the white ones through. The plastic would work great. Um, but again, I just was trying to keep it simple, easy, and inexpensive. So here it is. That's everything, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions at all, please, any questions. Because it did go by fast, but I thought it was pretty easy. Um, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to share with friends and family. Anybody who might be interested, anybody with special needs, anybody with special, abil um, special abilities, who needs assistance, um, young kids, anybody you think might be interested in making one of these. And if you haven't yet, click subscribe. And when you do, a little bell will pop up. When you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know whenever we upload a new video. And as always, you take care. God bless. And we'll see you next time. Bye.